gentlemen, welcome to the low budget September. Go ahead, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. 12, 2014. Tommy, the first time that we've gotten together since Night of Destruction. Are yep. you still recovering? Uh, no, I feel good now. I feel like uh, I'm ready to work on cars all night again. Yeah? yeah. So it's, uh, it's that time again? Yeah, it's that time again. We probably don't have that much to work on, right? Uh, in theory, no. Our, our skid bike cars literally drove off the track. So did my trailer car, kind of, with a tow truck. Correct. Yeah. Um, but in theory, for this event, tomorrow night, it'll be the skid play race. Wait. I'm doing the math. Night of Destruction was two weeks ago. We haven't had an event in Irwindale since. We have a race tomorrow night. And we're back at it again. We have a race tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, skid plates. What? <laughs> Luckily, those cars drove off just fine, so we're gonna do a little TLC to those things if they need it, and then the rest of it, we're just gonna go around and see what we gotta do for the trailer race cars and for the whatever cars that are here that are belong to us. And uh, I like how you say that, by the way. Like, yeah, no, like, exactly. Yeah. Some of the cars aren't ours, but they belong to us. Yeah, so just... we're gonna we're gonna have to figure out what we gotta do to those cars. Um, once we're doing all these skid play cars. This is not the best idea of where to hook up this car to the forklift to tow it out. I'm expecting this metal to pretzel up and bend like crazy, but go ahead, Jeffrey, slowly. Lift the, lift the, lift the car up. There you go, you're good. Well, that's better than expected. Water, this thing's leaking, and I can smell it too. It's all rainwater. Either I just busted her radiator, or it just busted itself. How did you bust it? I don't know, but that's a hell of a lot of water. Did, oh, did it pierce through? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> so you went all the way through, huh? I, yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh. It's fine. Yeah, it's That's good fine. to go just, again. Just, just had an egg. <laughs> Black pepper. So Night of Destruction was exciting. It was very exciting. And it was the most cars that we've ever prepped and ran in one night. This was my derby car. Yeah, I think it was your derby car. Something tells me it's a little used and abused. Not saying that we would never run it again. Yeah. But, as you can see, the back end was... You did a good work. I, did, I think you did <laughs> superb for this car in the demolition derby because there's all sorts of damage in the back. Yeah. It's completely trashed. This back end is gone. Like, look at the trunk. The trunk <laughs> is into the speaker deck of this thing. Like, you can't put your groceries in here. Like, it wouldn't even fit a gallon of milk. But you come up to the front. I should have put a gallon of milk back here. You come up to the front end and there is, I think, one mark. And all Not these, two, just two. so you know, these front marks were my fault. <laughs> Um, um, me. Yeah, completely clean where you want it to be, but the thing that took you out was my door open. Door. The thing that took you out was this axle, correct? Yep. Looks like you hit someone here and it literally exposed your wheel. Yeah, you, you want to know who that is? Who would that be? Shayla. And then behind you is a, uh, a car that didn't look this bad at the end of Night of Destruction. Yeah. What, what happened to this? Well, never mind the hood. Okay. How about we look at this side? All right. This is what auto soccer will do to a car. People looked out there and said, well, they're not hitting each other hard. It didn't look that bad. <laughs> but this is what the ball and other cars do to your car. So this is something to think of when you want to put together an auto soccer car. Holy cow. That thing went in. Obviously, this is why you have a T-bone bar as well. What? I, I kind of knew that. That's why I left the seat in it because we didn't have no time to put a seat. Oh, Tommy, Tommy, this car's junk. Yeah, I'm losing my chrome. Oh man, is this the soccer ball? That's a soccer ball. <laughs> oh man! I was convinced here. I was convinced that I broke my that the wheel uh, wheel was gonna be broken off. <laughs> it's on there like a champ. What the happened? front end was never really touched except for the fact that I guess the crew in the pits said that this hood wouldn't latch and so they literally jumped on it or something and whatever this is jammed up my hood i could not open it i pulled the latch it was undone but that got jammed somehow because of some front end impacts or whatever 
and it jam like it's still jammed. I took the forklift to this car to open up the hood and I still couldn't get it undone. Except for I made a lot of damage to it. <laughs> it's okay. That car might run in the auto socket. Now, now Tommy, if I'm correct, now yeah. just, just hear me out here. If, so let's say this car is fixable within reason. Not yeah. a lot of money. That car is fixable within reason. Uh -huh. well, these, these cars, if they'd be auto soccer cars. Yeah. They would not come home. No. No, these things... We would crash into each other <laughs> yeah. to make sure. Those, those, these things would not come home. No, we know that. Tommy, what did you just do to my car? I pulled this off. Accidentally. Why? Accidentally, purposely. Because you, you you took me out of the trailer. You realize the value of this car just went down a little it bit? It diminished because we painted over the chrome. But, but you've got the coolest golf club now. I do. Look at this. Now this guy's wrecking I my car. I didn't touch it. I, I will see you on track tomorrow night. I didn't touch it. It was like this. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. All right, I'll give you the best reason why I pulled this off. Because it was already sticking out, ready to attack me when you sideswipe me. See, and if I now you're this, just taking out my strategy. If I if I get this to the back of my head, I will come after you even if I'm dead. Look at these guys are wrecking my car. <laughs> We're just having fun with the trailer race winning car. Yeah. <laughs> you want the trailer race? I'm fine. Now it's catching my paint. So this was the biggest damage of uh, I guess I'm kind of, that you know, this car, which as you folks have seen, this isn't the worst that this car's ever seen. And then the skip play car that we'll be running tomorrow night. So Tommy, this, uh, I mean, for as much junk as this thing drove through, mm -hmm. it's about as ready to go as I'd ever, never guess. You know what's so funny? Hmm. Is that we, in theory, have to just grab the forks, shove this back over, <laughs> re-weld everything on the front again, and it's ready to go. You know, you know, I had a Into good night it. when I won the trailer race, and I still have my power steering cooler. Yes. Kind of. I don't think that'll ever leave because it's so full. The folks must be wondering. Yeah. They see this car over behind us, the Gran Torino. All it's been is it's a always in, in the it. backyard. It's and, always in the backyard. And these these fine folks must be going. Is it just gonna stay there forever? Yes. It'll always be the paperweight for the track. The track won't ever blow away because of that car. Yeah. But but that car might be running again in November. Are we actually aiming for November? We're aiming for November and oh maybe my God. even the station wagon. No. Now I know you're screwed up. Now we're moving this big old thing. I don't even know what to call it anymore. The thing. The thing. Auto Dave. Double zero. S and J towers. Hold that down. All right. You might want to sit on it. All right. I trust this guy. Look at that. That's how they fix it at the stop. Yeah. Almost there. Almost. Ready? Now we're Watch splitting it. Yeah. Now the problem is trying to get the latch again. Or we could just chain it. Just bubble gum, duct tape. See, it was fine, and, and then you fixed it, and then it looked like the number 82. 